The proposed austerity budget for the European Union could mean an increase in poverty, instability, and economic equality from 2014 to 2020. At a conference in a heavily Muslim suburb of Paris, the focus was on how to deal with fiscal cuts that will disproportionately strike poor urban areas which are already strained. Many believe the EU is jeopardizing its future by decreasing funds for social cohesion in order to pay off debts caused by high finance. There should be a budget uh, for the EU also for the next seven years that has cohesion instruments, instruments that can uh, uh, support the economic and social development, help the integration of the disadvantaged groups into the labor market, help the young people who have been a main uh, loser group of uh, this crisis. Nearly 16% of the EU's population, some 80 million people, live under the poverty line, and that number continues to grow. Resentment is high towards the UK and Germany for insisting on free market policies despite abundant proof that austerity isn't working. Europe is now very divided. This is the main problem. It's a divided house. Uh, we have some member states, mainly in the north, northeast, experiencing some growth. And we have other countries, mainly in the southern periphery, uh, who really have to struggle sometimes for survival. Programs which would send money to poor regions, from Wales to Marseille to Bucharest, are set to be axed, as are job-creating infrastructure projects. Unless the European Parliament rejects the proposed budget, the EU could be balancing their books on the backs of the poor. How can such budget cuts be politically acceptable amid an ever-worsening economic crisis? Many say that Europe has to worry about not only its widening economic disparities, but also a growing deficit of democracy. Ramin Mazahiri, Press TV, Paris.